Hey guys, we leave for Texas tomorrow to go make our run in Globe Life Field. So we have a ton to do, so I'm taking you with me. We have to go to Tractor Supply, we have to pack my stuff, we have to pack Chester's stuff. So this is gonna be a very busy vlog. First we got Starbucks, then we went into Tractor Supply. We were looking for shredded alfalfa and they didn't have it, but I did get some outlast treats. These are my favorite treats and I just like having them in the trailer so I can give them to them after a ride or a run. So that is all we got at Tractor Supply. And then we went to Buckeye hoping they would have shredded alfalfa and they did not. So that kind of sucked. So we just went straight to the barn. Everybody was napping, which was super, super cute. So I pet on them for a while and then I got Chester out to go for a ride. Last ride before we leave. So this is gonna be my last ride before we leave for Texas tomorrow. So I'm just being calm. You can saw I don't have to tie down. I'm only put on bell bits. I am just walking. I think I'll do a little bit of trotting just to kind of get his heart rate up. And that'll be it. He's in pretty good shape. We had that run Saturday and then I had a lesson and breeze through Tuesday. So those were both some pretty hard workouts and Saturday. 
he um, kind of got himself really worked up warming up so he really got two workouts that day so this is just to keep him moving and not let him you know just sit and to help him stretch out his muscles it's been raining and his pasture was flooded so he hasn't really been able to like really get out and stretch except for when I'm on him so I've ridden him every day this week I think except for Wednesday I gave him off after that workout and I've just really been walking and trotting nothing more that's what we're doing today and we had to go outside because there are people inside and I want to give you like where you can really see me so I came out here the ground's pretty hard and so I'm just gonna walk and trot like I said <laughs> nothing too crazy don't want to make him sore but I want to get him moving neck running and I will probably out here have to kind of grab him when I ask for a trot because he might take off but I really don't know we'll just see what he has in store for us today crazy man and once I'm done riding we're gonna wash his tail it's a little cool but like I think it's okay I'm not gonna spray him but I'm gonna wash his tail because he got some like ointment in it and it's really gross and I want to get it in a tail bag so I want it to be clean so it can look really pretty Wednesday and I'll just try and keep it in a bag till Wednesday <laughs> and to kind of protect the tail on the trailer too I need to get more tail bags actually that I think about it Also, we'll probably hop on Scout today because I want him to have a ride before we leave. Like, he obviously can't do a whole lot, but I want to get him out and like moving with a purpose for at least a little bit today because we're going to be gone for about a week, I think. So, just to get him moving before we leave. He gets turned out every single day, so don't think I mean that, but I want to get him walking with a purpose instead of just like, you know, walking and grazing. I always feel like I've walked for like 40 minutes and it's only been five. It's so like my internal clock sucks. Say when I'm rinsing their legs off. Like, if I'm rinsing his legs and I'm like cold hosing them, I will literally think I've been doing it for 20 minutes and it's been like two minutes. It's really, really tragic. Just a little. Not like this. Oh, good oh boy. He listened. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Good oh boy. This is better than expected. He might get bad in a second. But giving him the benefit of the doubt, one hand up here. Easy. There's a whole lot of space out here that he does not have in that indoor arena. Easy. Easy. A faster than I want. Easy. 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 Dog. Just you're scared of dogs. Well, I think he's scared of them. He hates them. <laughs> Easy. Good boy. He's still a little fast. Easy. Break my tailbone. Okay. 
Watch where your feet are, dude. Easy. I hate that it's like covered in gumballs. I know those hurt. I mean, I don't think they hurt him. They hurt when I step on <laughs> Good boy. That is not what I said. Easy. Easy. Hey. Easy. 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 I'll count that. Now that Chester is outside, it is time to get Scout out. He really needs to be brushed really good. So I grabbed the Slick Easy and get to work getting this winter hair off and all of the caked up mud from rolling outside that he has going on here just to get him nice and pretty again. And then we're going to take him for a very light ride.
Scout is taking some medicine to where he cannot do anything too strenuous and some horses started running in the pasture and right here he decided he was going to try and take off so I did have to kind of grab and be like no 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 we're not doing that and then I just stopped and let him watch these horses run for a while and then just walked him out from there. Once I had him all untacked, I turned him out so he could go grazed for a while and then started on Chester's tail. Originally, I was doing this with the bucket because I thought it was too cold outside to spray him, but the temperature rose quite a bit, so I was able to just use the water hose. That's why I ditched the bucket halfway through. Now I'm gonna let his tail dry for a little bit before I start braiding it. So I spray his mane with some detangler and start brushing it out so I can braid it as well to keep it protected. And I guess he can smell that I had treats on my hand at one point. So this whole time he is making this very difficult as he is trying to mug me for treats while I'm trying to braid his hair.
Now that Chester's hair is all protected, I take him back out and I see that Kai is still napping and I was procrastinating cleaning the trailer. So I got in there and took a little nap with him, which was so cute and I'm very happy that I have this moment on video. When we were done with our little nap, I let Kai go outside to graze and walk around while I went and organized the very messy trailer tack room. everything out and then hang up all the boots and then put everything back in. <laughs> Since it's been so rainy and wet here, I treat Chester's feet for thrush kind of as a preventative, especially before we're about to travel. And also in preparation for us leaving, I give him some liquid omeprazole in case he gets stressed on the trip. That way his stomach is nice and coated and protected.